Hi guys, welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Say, so today I'm, we're gonna do a little bit of different uh, video. We're gonna show you uh, what it's like doing chores in the dark. As most of you know, we're gonna time change. Uh, still have to do chores when we get home from work, but we gotta go out and check on the meat birds. We gotta make sure they got water. They've been fed this morning. We'll go out and lock up the chickens check on the pigs you know normal chores takes a little bit longer to do in the dark but they they depend on us so we're gonna go ahead and go out here and do some checking and as you see we got had to put on my headlamp I put on every night that way I can see to check on these pigs meat birds have their light of course the chickens have their light in their coop but we'll go out and check on everybody and see how they're doing how are you, buddy? Huh? How are you, matey? All right, for starters, like I say, we'll check on these meat birds real quick. Yeah, they're getting nice and big. We've got an appointment for them at freezer camp, December 8th. We started out with 26. Unfortunately, we're down to 23. But these girls are all doing real good. We went with the Cornish Cross. And this year, I decided I was going to go with all hens just to see how it worked out, see if there's any difference. Uh, next year, we're going to keep, or next time we buy meat birds, we're going to go with, I think I'm going to go with all roosters just to see if there's any difference in the. Uh, way they're fattening out I'm gonna go over here and we'll peek in here on these birds these this little coop the chickens have decided that they all like to roost up here instead of being on their roost but they're getting old enough now here in the next week or so we're gonna be bringing them out of this coop and we're gonna put them in here with we're gonna put them in gin pop put them in here with the rest of the birds just so we can see what's happening with them but uh, let me get this gate popped open I'll close up the door here my patent 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 pending door latch Sneak on around here through the mess. I've about gotten rid of everything. I just have to find more room. Everybody's in here. See, we've got plenty of nesting space. Or roosting space, I guess. Three nesting boxes. One, two, and three. I'm going to go ahead and gather these three eggs tonight. I picked up four eggs this morning, which isn't too bad considering we have. There's three on the floor, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve laying hens in here with one rooster. Old Major pain back there. Yep, he knows his name too. Just him look up, Major Payne. But we'll head out here now and check out the the pigs. I like to say, thank goodness we've got these headlamps. I got this a couple years ago, and it has been a life changer. It gives me the opportunity to be able to see. All right, there's the hay dudes or duds, I guess. It's still got about 20 pounds of feed left in their feeder. And doing good on water. I got to dump that water out in the morning and clean out all them leaves. It's fall, y'all. Now we'll go over here and check on the little bacon seeds. They're not not quite so little anymore. They won't be long, and they're going to be turned out here. 
I've got to get the electric fence put up on the inside of their pen. I'm going to expand this pen out another 16 feet. That way I can get, get the little one some more room before I put the hot wire in. But you can kind of see their butts in there a little bit. I'm going to reach over here and we'll dump this pan. Maybe. Oh, goodness. These three little pigs definitely work the ground in here. Oh, here they come. Here they come. out of there yeah there they are these are the two barrows and this little one over here that's our little gilt they're pretty good little pigs they like to like to be scratched and petted in the daylight they're not too sure about the dark with my headlight my headlamp on but We'll come in here and talk to them. <laughs> Pet them. They don't mind us being in here at all. They're a lot more gen a lot more gentle than the the, the two big hay duds are. Let's see they they're good with us, they Hey little girl. All right, let's go over here and get them a bag of feed. Get that dumped in here. Go here. All right, I'm gonna, we'll be right back after I put some feed in there. Okay, guys. Uh, I've had a few people asking me what I'm feeding these little pigs. Right now, I'm going with the... It's actually a horse feed, but it's... A good Purina feed, it's a 12% textured feed. Uh, let's see if we can get a look at it here. It's it's pretty good feed. They really like it. Uh, I've got the big pigs eating some of it too. But it's 12% protein, which is a really good growth uh, formula. Uh, it's got the, all the amino acids and vitamins and minerals that they need uh, I've, I've consulted with a few different feed people and they've told me that this is a really good one to start start with a growing stage once we get this fed up i got a heck of a deal on this feed you guys uh, like i say this is horse feed once we get done with this and i've been kind of rotating it a little bit i've got some cattle feed i've been putting in there too but i mean they've as you see, they're doing really good on it. The duds over there. Let's see if we can spot them again. Yeah, they've already gone back in their in their hut. But yeah, we're just out here trying to get this stuff fed up. Um, oh, got one there. Come over to get a drink. I need to get some more water in here. That's what we're going to go ahead and do tonight. I'm fixing to dump it out. It's low enough. I can get it dumped and refill tonight. Get a, get their water cleaned out for them. That way they got some good fresh water. Get rid of some of them leaves. So I'm going to see if I can set you guys up so you can see what we're doing. For those of you that have been watching us, you know that we built this water. I put a nipple water on this tank so it would stick through the fence. That way, we can keep the water on the outside for just this reason. We don't have to get in their pen to dump the water out, which has been really handy. And just like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Move over here. Just to dump it out, they got all them leaves and everything out of there. Set it back on this little pallet, slide it forward back through the fence. And go get some water now. All right, now we make the trek back through the dark. 
go over here and grab our hose. It's getting pretty chilly at night now. Uh, we've got a couple nights here. We're down. We're dropping down into the 20s at night. We've been very, very, very blessed with such beautiful weather in November. When we got up this morning to come out, it was 29 degrees when I left the house this morning. By 10 o'clock, we were already at 50. So, not going to complain at all. Yesterday was 50 degrees, but I, like 30 mile an hour winds with it. So, felt a lot cooler than it really was, but you know, it's still not snowing and blowing. So, I'm not complaining. We will drop that in there. Let that fill up. It won't take but just a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and go inside, put these eggs up before I crush them in my pocket. Take the kink out of the hose will help. Let the old Mayday man inside. All right, so there you have it, you guys. Uh, like I say, everybody has to do these chores. Um, unfortunately, we don't always get to do them in the daylight, but we do chores. I go out every morning. We, one of us, Rachel or I, one, will go out and feed in the morning. And normally with, get the eggs out of my pocket. Uh, one of us will go out in the morning and feed, or both of us. And then uh, in the evenings, Rachel works a lot of evenings, so I take care of the feeding in the evenings. She'll do it in the mornings most of the time. And then uh, it's just one of those things we have to get, things have to get done, and it doesn't matter, y'all. Uh, with this time change, it's, as everybody knows, it's kind of a pain. But it is what it is. We deal with it, and we're going to make things happen the best we can. So, if you like what you see, guys, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. And uh, most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out.